The number of people killed in wildfires in Hawaii continues to rise and now stands at over 100, with some 1,300 still missing. Officials have brought in a mobile morgue unit to help identify the remains of victims killed in the worst U.S. wildfires in over a century. The blazes ravaged the island of Maui and destroyed the town of Lahaina. Rescue workers are being warned they're likely to find many more corpses over the coming days. As those efforts continue, there's also a focus on how the fire started and spread so quickly. See them right there, that's the power line that started. Started from up the road there, and all of that is still burning. And I hear a pop coming from across the street. As soon as I hear the pop, all I heard is like electrical, like zzz, going on the ground there. I look, there's a power line right there. And shortly after, thing was just arcing away on the ground, landed right in dry grass, so sparks, and then there was a fire. The Hawaiian Electric Company faces criticism for not shutting off the power amid high wind warnings and keeping it on even as dozens of poles began to topple. A class action lawsuit's already been filed seeking to hold the company responsible for the deaths.